besides being two famous American television presenters. Whoopi Goldberg and Ellen DeGeneres are two comedians who have amassed huge fortunes in their careers. But have you ever wondered who has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between Whoopi Goldberg and Ellen DeGeneres. Cars The two American media personalities love to get around in beautiful cars, but which one has the best vehicles? Starting with Whoopi Goldberg, she once owned, for example, a 1956 Morris Minor 1000, a British sedan dating from the post-war era, known for being practical, charming, and excellent value for money. According to some sources, the vehicle was auctioned off for a whopping $12,650. The actress also owns a Volkswagen Beetle, a car that was very popular in the 40s and 50s and stands out for its rounded, asymmetrical design. And to give you an idea of the price, the artist's car is estimated at $21,000. Whoopi Goldberg has also shared photos of her Sono Shown, a sustainable electric vehicle powered mainly by solar energy. Similar to a compact minivan, this machine is spacious for greater comfort during rides and is equipped with a single engine that delivers 160 horsepower. And that's probably why this modern automobile costs around $25,000. In the same range, it is speculated that she owns a Nissan Altima, a mid-size sedan with great technology and performance features, which costs more than $25,000. The actress has also been spotted in a Lexus LX570, an SUV with a rugged appearance, ideal for traversing steep terrain. The car is equipped with a high-performance V8 engine and can reach a top speed of 270 km per hour. And it's no wonder that this machine costs an average of $46,000. Another vehicle she was photographed in is a Cadillac Escalade, a huge car capable of offering great comfort and safety for all its passengers. And to give you an idea of the price, depending on the model it can cost around $90,000. The actress also supposedly has a Land Rover Vogue in her garage, a powerful and robust SUV that offers stylish rides. To own such a vehicle, you must invest at least $100,000. She was also photographed in a Tesla Model X, an SUV designed for those who prioritize space and comfort. As well as being more robust, this vehicle also stands out because of the way it opens its doors, something that attracts a lot of attention due to its futuristic look. The interior, on the other hand, continues to maintain the electric car manufacturer's excellent quality standards, and it's no wonder that the vehicle can cost more than $100,000. Going even higher, Whoopi has already posed with a Pagani Huayra, a beautiful sports model coveted by many car lovers. The sports car has a modern design with an impeccable finish, and to own one of these, you have to shell out more than $2.6 million. Ellen has already been spotted in her 2020 Land Rover Defender 110, a robust car perfect for off-road trips, which costs around $80,000. The presenter is a big fan of the German Porsche brand, having already been spotted using the models. A $70,000 Porsche 997 Carrera GTS. A $80,000 Porsche Cayenne, the brand's SUV that is ideal for those who like taller and sturdier vehicles. A $100,000 Porsche Panamera. Porsche 911 Targa 4S, with 450 horsepower and an estimated price of $130,000. And a Porsche 911 Turbo S, a big car capable of a top speed of 197 miles per hour, costing around $180,000. In addition, Ellen once owned a Ferrari California, it is a beautiful sports car, capable of attracting a lot of attention wherever it passes. The vehicle is powered by a V8 engine, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.1 seconds, achieving a top speed of an impressive 193 miles per hour. And it's no wonder that to own one of these, you may need to invest about $250,000. And for owning more luxurious cars, Ellen wins this round. Point for her! Most Expensive Property The two presenters don't skimp on good places to live. But who owns the most valuable property? For 25 years, for example, Whoopi owned a mansion in Pacific Palisades, in the upmarket area of Los Angeles, California. The modern-style residence covers more than 2,100 square meters and was built around 1933 by writer Vicki Baum and later occupied by actor David Niven. 
Among the rooms in this property are the entrance hall with an elegant black and white checkered floor, spacious and well-lit living rooms, a clean design kitchen updated with countertops, a chef's island, and large cabinets, as well as a bar for party days. There are also six gracious bedrooms, all with windows that offer beautiful views of the outside space, perfect for accommodating each resident with maximum comfort. The mansion also has seven bathrooms and many other rooms with plenty of space to be furnished according to the owner's tastes. Moving on to the outside, the mansion is situated on a plot of more than 8,500 square meters, with verdant lawns for outdoor leisure activities, as well as a swimming pool area in the backyard. There is also a more private area with a basketball hoop for fun and a guest house to accommodate guests. What's more, the property is very secure, surrounded by mature trees that provide more privacy from potential paparazzi. You can imagine why the actress has kept this mansion in her real estate portfolio for so many years. And to live in such a luxurious place, she had to fork out quite a lot of money. According to some sources, Whoopi bought the mansion in the 1990s for $2.5 million until she decided to sell it in 2018 for $8.8 .8 million. Since then, the property has been put back on the market a few times, with the current owner asking for almost $11.5 million. Ellen DeGeneres, on the other hand, currently owns an incredible 10-acre waterfront estate in Carpinteria, California. This is a 9,066-square-foot Tuscan-style house that cost an unbelievable $70 million. And for having a much more expensive property, Ellen DeGeneres easily wins this round. Exaggerated Luxuries Both comedians have plenty of money to buy whatever they want, but which one has the most extravagant cats? Whoopi doesn't skimp when it comes to dressing well. One of the items she loves to invest in the most is shoes, as you can see from the many pictures she shares on her social media accounts. In an interview with Complex, the EGOT winner showed off some of the shoe models she owns, such as Reebok Alien Stomper $175, Nike Air Foamposite 1 Electrolime $220, and the Nike Air Foamposite 1 Paranorman $230. In addition to these, she also showed that she likes stylish sneakers, taking home the following models. Nike Air Max 1 Curry $80 Adidas Nemesis Tango 17 Plus $275 Acronym Nike Air Vapor Max Mach 2 for $330 And a $499 Kith Coca-Cola Converse Chuck 70 But Whoopi Goldberg's shoe collection doesn't stop there. That's because she has already given us a glimpse of her closet, with shelves full of all kinds of sandals that must surely cost a lot of money. To dress well, she also invests in sophisticated accessories, such as her Aorus Pro Pilot X Kermit Edition watch. This is a limited edition model with an attractive green dial, a 39mm steel case, a sapphire crystal on the front that guarantees water resistance, and a titanium bracelet that makes it last longer. To buy a watch like this, you need to spend around $4.6,000. Whoopi Goldberg also loves to wear jewelry worth real fortunes. During the 2016 Oscar ceremony, for example, she drew a lot of attention when she wore the octopus bracelet ring by jeweler Savan by Caxi. It's a unique piece made of 24 karat gold and external silver with more than 3,000 diamonds, and although it's not known exactly how much it's worth, it's speculated that it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Ellen, on the other hand, has been seen wearing the following watches. A $32,000 Rolex Yacht Master Eve Rose, with matte black ceramic dial and bezel and Eve Rose gold details. A 40mm Platinum 950 Rolex Day Date with a luxurious glacial blue dial, an accessory that costs about $43,000. A Patek Philippe Nautilus, a true relic that costs about $100,000. A Patek Philippe Grand Complications made in platinum and with 58 studded diamonds, luxury jewelry worth around $290,000. The presenter has also shown off her rare Daytona Paul Newman John Player Special Watch, dated from 1968 with 14 karat gold case, a rare item that experts in the field estimate is worth around $750,000. These were just some examples, because Ellen DeGeneres has already appeared publicly wearing several other models. In other words, she doesn't skimp out when investing in these accessories. As they both spend a lot on their appearances, we'll consider this round a draw. Real Estate Portfolio 
Both presenters love to buy and sell high-value properties, but who has the most impressive real estate? Whoopi, for example, once owned a huge 745-acre farm in Marlboro, in the U.S. state of Vermont. Whoopi bought the property in 2003, and the following year made several updates to the main house, built in 1790. Despite the renovations, the actress chose to preserve several original elements of the property to maintain its rustic charm, such as large antique beams, hickory wood floors, and brick fireplaces, among other details. In total, the residence has more than 500 square meters of living space, an open-concept living room with a dining area and a country kitchen with up-to-date appliances and wooden countertops. On the second level are four bedrooms, five tiled bathrooms, and other living spaces for casual gatherings. Outside, there are roads for hiking, manicured lawns, and several sheds used to store equipment and for other activities on the farm, not to mention a guest house and other beautiful buildings. As reported in the media, Whoopi Goldberg bought the property for a whopping $960,000 until she decided to list it in 2011 for $2.3 million. However, the actress has struggled to find a buyer, selling the farm only in 2016 for just over $1.5 million. Whoopi's main property, which she acquired in 2009, is a mansion located in West Orange, in the state of New Jersey. Situated in the gated community of Llewellyn Park, the Georgian colonial-style mansion has over 12,700 square feet, eight bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and a plot of 2.34 acres. In recent years, the place seems to have been updated to convey the actress's identity, with a wall full of portraits and a bookcase housing her major awards. Whoopi has already revealed that she reluctantly bought the property as a refuge from the hectic life in New York because of the fans and paparazzi, but she liked it so much that she made it her main home. At the time, she paid $2.8 million for the mansion, but it is estimated that today the place is worth around $3.9 million. But the luxurious properties don't end there. In 1985, just as she was starting to become successful, she bought a charming Victorian house in the city of Berkeley, in the state of California. Built in 1890, the residence was originally just over 1,400 square feet. However, it had a two-story barn, which was illegally converted into a guest cottage, adding another 1,600 square feet of interior space to the property. The rooms include a living room and a spacious kitchen with cream-colored cabinets and a table with four chairs for casual meals. There are also two exquisite bathrooms and four clean bedrooms, which appear to be well-ventilated and comfortable. There are also balconies on the second floor, an office with wooden shelves, and other areas included in the chalet, such as a dining area and an extra kitchen. Moving outside, the property is almost 14,000 square feet, with balconies next to the beautiful garden, as well as plenty of space in the backyard. Whoopi Goldberg paid a whopping $335,000 to live in this property in the mid-80s. Thirty years later, she sold the house for $2.025 million, making a significant profit on the transaction, as the original listing only asked for $1.275 million. Whoopi also once owned a luxurious apartment in New York, specifically in the Soho area. It's a 3,800-square-foot loft with a modern aesthetic and several eye-catching details, such as oak plank floors, cast iron columns, high ceilings, and custom light fixtures. In total, the unit has three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, an elegant kitchen, a living room with large windows, a dining area, an oversized closet, among other spaces. In 2007, Whoopi Goldberg bought the unit for $4 million, but sold it for just under $3 million in 2010. According to some websites, this apartment was listed again in the following years for $7.5 million. Ellen DeGeneres and her wife, on the other hand, love to invest in luxury real estate and are always buying and selling new residences, profiting greatly from these transactions. Currently, the entertainer owns a 14-acre rural property called Rancho San Leandro. The architecture is typical of a farm, possessing quite a bit of rusticity and coziness in the decoration, but with several updates that make the residence more appropriate to live in more comfortably. The site features amenities such as gym space, an office with a fireplace, as well as having a sandy track for mountaineering with horses. Ellen had bought and then sold this property for $11 million in 2011. But 10 years later, 
the entrepreneur repurchased the ranch for $14,300,000. But the luxury properties don't end there. Another home once owned by the entertainer is known as Scurrus Residence and is located in Beverly Hills, California. We are talking about a property built in 1956 with timeless architecture, being full of huge windows and even skylights that bring plenty of natural light into the rooms. There are seven, thousand square feet of built area distributed into five bedrooms, a very well-equipped industrial kitchen, a library integrated into an external garden, and much more. Not to mention the privileged view of the Los Angeles skyscrapers. Allen bought the residence in 2013 for $17,400,000 but became bored of living in this location and sold it the following year for $20 million. One of her official homes for a period was a gigantic 8.4-acre piece of land located in Montecito, California. The land surrounded by mountains and lots of greenery offers Ellen plenty of privacy and contributes to a look that is very much like an oasis. The 8,188-square-foot house, nicknamed Salt Hill, has already been shown on social networks of Ellen's wife, Portia de Rossi, and by the posts you can see that it is a residence quite integrated with nature, with large glass openings that allow the outside view to enter the house. The design is in a Balinese style, which makes everything cozier and more harmonious. The strong presence of wood in the furniture and coatings contribute to the rusticity, but the more contemporary details don't diminish the sophistication of the environments. It is a true refuge surrounded by nature and the blue of the ocean view, which transmits a lot of light and peaceful vibes to the residents. The rooms are large and integrated, facilitating living there in several rooms and the kitchen. The home features a library filled with shelves, an office, four bedrooms and ten bathrooms that provide unique bathing experiences. The outside area of the property is really impressive, full of flower gardens, grassy fields, lakes with fish and a tennis court, all while having a beautiful view of the sunset. Something that draws a lot of attention and makes all the difference in the estate is the huge infinity edge pool overlooking the sea, besides having an outdoor jacuzzi to relax. Ellen DeGeneres can never seem to settle down for long in one property, as she has announced the sale of this incredible mansion. The presenter bought the house in 2019 for $27 million, and the following year, she sold it for $33,300,000. In other words, she made quite a profit with this estate. However, in 2007, the entertainer and her wife purchased another 2.8-acre property in Beverly Hills, located in a more secluded and private area of the city. This is a spacious contemporary complex with a 9,200-square-foot one-story main house, two guest houses, a separate fitness center, a massage room, a sauna area and a beautiful pool overlooking the city. The exterior design is resort-like, with several outdoor seating areas with armchairs and tables for dining, a fish pond, well-kept lawns and zen gardens. The house built in 1963 has an impressive seven bedrooms and ten bathrooms, including the one in the master suite with a bathtub and the large glass windows. In addition to the kitchen with green tiles, the house has an outdoor area with a barbecue and a rustic pizza oven. Ellen paid $29 million on this property in 2007 and sold it to host Ryan Seacrest in 2012 for $37 million. The big TV star also once owned a veritable palace on a four-acre plot of land located in Montecito, California. This is a giant estate consisting of five buildings, including a 9,000-square-foot mansion, a beautiful lake for boat ride and much more. She bought this property in 2020 for $49 million and managed to sell in the same year for $55 million. A great profit! We couldn't fail to mention the Brody House, a 13,500-square-foot residence located in Holmby Hills, also in California. It is a true sanctuary of comfort and a triumph of lifestyle, provided by the elegant architecture that blends the contemporary with the Roman style done through the arched roofs and limestone columns. The house has nine bedrooms, seven bathrooms, an office, a beautiful well-maintained garden, a swimming pool, and a tennis court. Ellen DeGeneres purchased the property in 2014 for $40 million and managed to sell it for an impressive $55 million. She definitely knows how to make money with real estate. In other words, Ellen wins this round. Sources of Income as well as being two presenters, they also have other sources of income. But who has the most lucrative businesses? In entertainment, for example, Whoopi works as an executive producer on television and film projects. 
Another role she plays is as a voice actress, with credits in films such as The Lion King, The Rugrats Movie and Toy Story 3, which must have earned her a lot of money. The artist also stands out as a presenter, not only on TV shows such as The View, but at major media events such as the Oscars, which she has presented four times. As well as modeling, she also has a clothing brand known as Dub G, which offers versatile and comfortable pieces, especially for women. In recent years, the artist has also entered the drinks industry with the launch of Whoopi Pro's Echo Wines. Another venture she co-founded was Whoopi and Maya, a medical cannabis company for women. The artist is also considered a great author, having written children's books such as the Sugar Plum Ballerinas series and Whoopi's Big Book of Manners, as well as non-fiction works such as The Unqualified Hostess and If Someone Says You Complete Me, Run. Another important source of income for Whoopi Goldberg is her advertising deals with SlimFast, Gap, and others. Ellen, on the other hand, has her own entertainment content production company, A Very Good Production, which partners with Warner Brothers and is responsible for TV shows such as Ellen's Game of Games, for movies, and even Netflix's Ellen Stand Up. An arm of his production company is 1111, a record label that seeks artists mainly on social networks, such as YouTube. An example of a successful case is the singer Charlie Puth, whose career took off. One of her lifestyle brands is ED by Ellen, launched in 2015, which sells home goods from furniture to decorations. In the fashion sector, Ellen has an online store of clothes and accessories customized with her brand. Not to mention her digital platform Ellen Tube, which gets more than 340,000 hits a month. In addition, she owns a brand of skincare cosmetics, products that promise to postpone aging and promote intense hydration, while maintaining environmental concern and without testing on animals. But the presenter proves to be very connected to technology, and so she has some mobile applications, such as the game's heads up, Psych, Outweet Your Friends, among others. We can't fail to mention that Ellen is a successful writer, having released bestsellers such as My Point and Seriously, I'm Kidding, as well as other works. And since we don't know how much they make from each source of income, let's call it a draw! Net Worth Everyone knows that both presenters have made a lot of money in their careers. But who has the biggest net worth? Most of Whoopi's fortune came from acting, but she had to work hard to see her salary increase. To give you an idea, although she won acclaim for her early roles in The Color Purple and Ghost, it is speculated that the actress didn't receive large sums for either of them. But once she had established herself in the industry, Whoopi started to get paid a lot more for each movie. To play Dolores Van Cartier in the sequel to Sister Act, for example, she is believed to have earned between $7 and $12 million, making her the highest paid actress in the early 90s. Whoopi Goldberg also built up her wealth through other jobs. For co-hosting the talk show The View, it is estimated that in 2016, she earned between $5 and $6 million, and currently, her annual salary is $8 million. Although the exact amount of the artist's fortune is unknown, some sources estimate that Whoopi Goldberg has a net worth of $60 million, but as there is little information about her current income, this figure may be higher. But Ellen DeGeneres is not far behind in this dispute. One of the star's big successes was in 2018 when she signed a contract with Netflix to launch her exclusive stand-up comedy show, receiving a check for $20 million. But her greatest success is due to The Ellen DeGeneres Show, a daily attraction that unites fun and relaxing vibes, and which has hosted more than 4,000 artists. To get an idea of the relevance of the talk show, there is a YouTube channel where parts of the program are posted, this channel has more than 38 million subscribers and an impressive 22 billion views. Adding up the success of the audience along with the merch that the blonde does, her salary is considered one of the highest in this category of program. According to Forbes, she has a smart contract that earns her about 60% of the profits from her onstage ad campaigns. She has done talk show advertising for brands like Walmart, Amazon, Diet Pepsi, Lincoln MKC Cars, among many others. To get an idea of DeGeneres earnings, in 2017 it was reported that the host was earning around $50 million a year from the show. But over the years those earnings have only increased. In 2020, for example, Forbes magazine estimated that she was the 12th highest earning media personality, with earnings of $84 million. But that's not all. 
She has also had other television shows and has appeared in films and television series. Adding up her real estate earnings, her profit with her companies, and her sell- At the end of this battle, we have two points for Whoopi Goldberg against six points for Ellen DeGeneres, and she is the winner. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.